This is the No Stroke Podcast with your co-hosts, David Dancero and Michael Garrow, helping you to support and thrive in life after stroke. Their podcast is designed for educational and community support purposes only and should not replace medical treatment and guidance of your own health professional team. Welcome to this bonus episode of the No Stroke Podcast with your co-hosts, Mike Garrow and David Dantzru. This uh, bonus episode is being recorded on the 29th of December, a couple days before we take a new step into 2022. Um, and we just wanted to do a quick recap of 2021, the year that, that's been in it for David and I personally, um, for Enable Us and for the launch of the No Stroke podcast and you know the community of listeners as well as guests that we've been able to have on so you know first off maybe thank you thank you david for listening to to me for the past year for you know kind of spending the time um you know i know both you and your our producer jake has put a lot of effort into this so um you know that that's probably what i'd be most thankful for yeah. um, and giving me the the push to do this but it's it's been a been a hectic year um what, what are some of your thoughts? Well, first of all, I, I actually like when you open the show. So maybe I, think, I know I was going to say we're doing wow. something a little different, you know, doing that was nice. I wanted you to keep going. But, <laughs> but if you if you if you, um, you know, if I if I if I could just add that, you know, um, you know, it's been a pleasure over the time that we've spent together, especially this, this past year getting you know, with, with the folks that, you know, encourage you to go back and listen to sort of our why in our first two episodes way back at the first, you know, the launch of the podcast. But this, this has been a, a great way, Mike, for us to um, really dive deeper into the background of a lot of our survivors that, you know, get, got to know you much better in this amount of time, because it's, you know, as part of our interviews, you often reveal some gems. We learned about cold showers in the week year in review. We learned about funk and we learned a lot, of, you know, a lot of serious stuff too that you've really, you know, we we've grown together. And I'll just I'll just add, you know, I'm grateful certainly for what you mentioned, um, the support that Jake has has given us to be able to turn these podcasts around quickly and lend us his musical ear and ability with that we're going to continue i think we have to continue it's the 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 intro jingle has certainly grown on me so i i we originally had talked maybe a mixing it up so unless jake really has some new a new drop that he really wants to showcase we got to continue with it so um and and i'll just share one other thing mike because you know we do this from the beginning this has been mission driven and sometimes um, you know, we've always want to encourage more listener feedback and review via, via the podcast channel. Um, but sometimes I get personal, um, feedback that really resonates and makes me really feel like we were definitely on the, the right path. And, 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 you know, I've, I've gotten emails, I've gotten, I've gotten, um, um, you know, comments from clients who also are listening to our show but most recently i got one from um someone who actually called me personally and um said you know i wanted to thank you that um your show and sharing survivor stories and you sharing your own story at the time of one of those episodes really helped me um understand what was going on inside um someone who was really close to me who couldn't speak about what was happening in their brain after their stroke. Um, and that really made me feel um, like I'm even more inspired to, to really kind of rev this up and really even we have some great, you know, guests coming in, but just to go back and really um, look at those those silent areas or those areas that we talked about, we were going to go into that, you know, at the surface, you might not get from Googling certain things. So, um, you know, I'm also thankful for these, this great um, new sweatshirt that you uh, sent uh, right before the holiday break. So, um, and, and to our producer, uh, <laughs> Jake is also in, a, in living, uh, able to wear this limited edition right now, sure. But maybe, maybe we, if we get enough uh, 
you know, if we get enough positive feedback, maybe that will be a goal for 2022 to put some uh, merchandise up on, on our Enable Us website. I like it. I like it. Um, you know, graphic, I never thought I was a graphic designer. Well, it, we'll give the credit to you, Dan. I mean, all I did was stick the the, the label on the shirt, but yeah, we, uh, we're excited. You know, it, it, like you said, <laughs> it's, um, it's a nice thing to have. It's, you know, for, for as much work as we put into this, I think, you know, it's something proud to, to have on your chest. You know, we, we, sure. we put a lot of hours into this. Um, so yeah, I, I'm glad, you know, you, you were able to get it. And like I said, we, we sent it up to our, uh, our friends up at Tufts as well. Um, and I think it was a nice thank you to, to really the amount of work that, that they've been in and the time that they've given us to us to over the past couple of weeks. Um, so it's a nice thank you, but yeah, I'll go get, let's get some merchandise up there. I'm thinking mugs. I'm thinking mm -hmm. stickers, um, uh, socks, socks, maybe. Um, I, you know, and I've got a younger son that we haven't pulled into the podcast yet who has never really a, a creative lens on the, on the okay. design end. So I'll, uh, maybe I'll run that by him, see if he has any free time in uh, early 2020, <laughs> 2022. So All right. uh, what, what, um, what do you, you know, we're going to get into like in the new year, we're going to get into certainly goal setting and supporting our community like we did early on with the next step forward um, in, in certainly a challenging time, but like moving now with everything heating up it, it, to me, I'm, tr I'm trying to be absolutely optimistic and positive, but at the same time, there's a lot that's reminiscent about as, as numbers start to go up, like, like how do we stay positive? I hope that we can, you know, work with our community to build common goals together in that mindset and that mental health component, I think is going to be really, really important to key in on and making sure that we can help in any way we can. Um, so do you have yeah. any positive goals that you want to put out there? Uh, like, do you have any, you have any, you know, I'm not a big resolution or per person per se, but there's, you know, a couple of things that I like to try to key in on that I can do better reflecting from the previous year. What, 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 mm. uh, is there anything you want to share? Yeah. Um, first off, I want to say, you know, the, the feedback that you got from that listener, I mean, really hits home, right? That's why we're mm -hmm. doing this. Um, so I'd encourage anyone listening, you know, please reach out, you know, comments, any, anything that we could do to help you guys, um, maybe if it's initiating conversations with loved ones, things like that, you know, anything really, you know, we're, we're here to help you. So I um, just want to get that out there. But for me, kind of moving into the new year, um, you know, it's funny enough, I was just kind of writing some thoughts down earlier in the day. Um, and it's been a year of change, you know, I mean, I, I just moved, picked my life up and moved back from, mm -hmm. from Ireland where I was for six years. Um, you know, kind of started a new job, which is very exciting. Um, and, you know, I've had this personal project grow. Um, all of which, you know, looking back a year from today, really didn't see that was going to be happening, right? You know, um, there's, sure. there's a lot of, lot of change that's happened, but a lot of opportunity as well. Um, and for me, I think moving into the, into 2022, um, it's a year for me to, you know, I think for me, it's a, like organization, right? So we, there's so many different things happening. And what I'd really like to be able to do is find a way. And it's the same thing, whether you talk about your fitness routine or eating habits or your relationship, it's, it's being accountable and really like staying structured, <clears throat> structured into, mm -hmm. you know, your work and what you're bringing day to day. So I'm, I'm going to be trying to kind of build in more of a day-to-day -day habit of kind of waking up getting you know to-do list kind of down packed early um and structuring the day a bit better um because for me i could I, I kind of find myself drifting into different tasks and kind of not being 100 percent focused maybe in into one thing um and i've you know i've heard tips heard you know like you said that you know we, we always said that the best reminder is if you know, magnet on the fridge. <laughs> um, but I think from a work perspective, you know, I, I've kind of picked up some, some cool tools on uh, OneNote. So I'm going to be diving in, like really trying to structure myself on there. Um, and then in my personal life, I, I, you know, for me, stepping away from basketball was a huge thing after 20 something years of, of doing that, you know, at a, 
at amateur level and then professionally. Um, and it, and it's kind of, you know, my physical health, it, not that I've packed on weight or, you know, I, I just know I could be more active. Um, and luckily I have you who's a big motivator. <laughs> um, but you know, that I, I'm looking to try to find something that really gives me that same kick that I got with training for basketball. Right. Um, and funny enough, and I think Marina, our, our first guest in episode uh, season three, uh, she'll speak to it a little bit, is uh, is boxing. I, I'm going to be trying to pick up Good boxing. I'm going right. to pick up boxing. Yeah, that's Super. that's my goal. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm this is great um, because, you know, we can look back because I hope to do this. Uh, you know, at the close out of every season. So if we look back at the end of this, the end of the year, it's now recorded. So that's a big thing that, <laughs> yeah. that I put down and I work with all my clients is record your goals. So you just did that. Mm -hmm. You just recorded mm -hmm. your goal that you can go back and, and I'm ready to kind of back and support you as well as our entire community. I have a, 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 many more years of, 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 of uh, working with clients. And I have a lot of, um, a lot of gems that I'm willing to share with you. Um, I've personally were set back a little bit the last uh, quarter of the year here on an injury. Now that I've had surgery and healed, um, I'm just letting you know the bar is going to be pretty high because I'm not saying I'm getting, um, I'm not going to use the marathon word, um, but I'm going to really, really nail, like I'm going to set some, some, some goals and I haven't had time time to sit back and actually indicate exactly what those physical goals are but like to your point about like controlling and having systems in place one of the things that i can definitely say that i'm going to do this year is i'm guilty probably like many of our community of of letting the hysteria and the craziness on the on the daily news kind of like set the tone for me for the day and just it can drive you down real quick and i I, I've already and I, and I mentioned like I'm just going to have more quiet time in the morning. I'm going to I'm going to put positive things in in my brain, in my body. And, you know, unfortunately, when you break down like the daily news, I don't know what this today, it almost doesn't matter what channel you listen to. But, um, you know, it's like. 95% like negative, bad things, shootings, burglaries, COVID this, COVID that. And then they usually do that feel good story when they're closing out in the last 20 seconds. Like I want, I want to flood my brain and my body with like, like the end, like, like 95% great stuff. And then I just want to know, you know, because it affects you need to know what's happening, right? Yeah. I just yeah, want to know, know what's happening because yeah. you could get lost in it. You could get lost in it. Yep. Um, one thing that I, and I've talked about this app before um, I just bought it for, my girlfriend Megan for um for her birthday I got her a gift card and, and a, a year subscription to it um I now it is a pay I think they have a free like a freemium model right okay. um but you know it is a paid subscription but the app is called calm right mm -hmm. and you know honestly I'd suggest downloading that um because you know there's so much content on there they have you know walking meditation they have a daily calm which they bring you through like different things to kind of you know reflect on right and it's a great way to start your day you know kind of sit down to, and, and they're all 10 minutes um you know so it's short kind of you know small digestible content um and it's just a way to kind of take a breath right because when you throw the news on first thing in the morning it's just in your face you know and and it, it, it you're right it does set your day up just to, to kind of put you on edge so i think that's something both of us could try to do right let's let's do a daily calm in the morning and what i love for like a a news snippet is the economist radio it's a it's a podcast they give you it's like a five minute overview of what's happening you know but find one that works for you like i i mean i'm not going to speak for everyone but i think that is a nice structure like you know you stay up to date but you're also kind of taking that time and you know as we move into 2022 and you know we're we're nearly two years into the pandemic um you know it's unfortunately as we, as we see with omicron like it's not going away it's something that needs to be in the back of everyone's mind do we need to move on and maybe not move on but do we need to live with this yeah you know but mm -hmm. you know i think with that become you know added stress added you know anxiety there's there's things that go 
into it. And, you know, mental health is something that needs to be balanced out with, with physical health as well. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't preach calm enough. Um, I think it's an excellent app. They have every, something in there for everybody. Um, that's, so that, yeah, yeah, maybe we'll that, be sponsored by them one day. Who well, knows? that you know that <laughs> that's a great tip because Mike, I think you know you you I thought um, going back to I'll have to dive into our um, our wellness workbook when we update it for our next step forward 2.0 in 2022. So we're we're diving into that now behind the scenes. But I I want to say that's one that you mentioned early on when they were first was first coming out. Maybe maybe uh, maybe it would make the perfect sponsor at some point because um, I, I played around with the free version and I I definitely get you know where it. So those are good tips. We'll put them in. Um, we'll have this to reflect on. Um, I'm, I want us to be fully charged moving into the new year, but I'm glad we were able to do this before we close out 2021 and we'll get it out there. Um, you know, um, I, 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 I feel like, um, you know, we'll have each other to stay accountable, but our community will also have us like, like that individual that I mentioned will go so unnamed that, um, you know, they shared that feedback. That's what kind of fires me up, um, and says, you know, it's, you know, for me, it's the end of it's the end of a year. Um, when I get that little note from a patient that, you know, says, "Hey, by the way, you made the difference here," or you did, it, those types of things are are um, really helpful and a nice boost. And I don't think, you know, as a society, we do enough of that. But just the thanks here and there um, goes a long way. And and um, for those that might not have anyone that is able to provide that, you know support um let us be sort of your extended family and 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 moving into the new year i know the holiday can be um great for some but it you know it can bring back you know sad memories and and a lot of um um despair for others so let's um let's move into the new year um you know uh recharged and ready ready to go and we have our new swag so we did say we were going to keep this short. So, and I know you have some plans here. So let's um, let's take it out with um, you know, just maybe a call to action. Like, yo, know, jump on, listen to some of the other shows as we get ready to unroll some of our new guests. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, sh share. That's the best thing you can do. You know, share sh if you're enjoying the show, share it with your friends or someone who you might think that um, you know. Uh, could benefit, especially if they've been personally um, impacted by stroke. And I've said it better. Well, David, it's been a pleasure. Um, we'll be seeing much more of each other in 2022. Hopefully some more in-person meetups um, would be great. But, you know, we, we deal with what we have and, you know, we wish everyone well, all the listeners, all the, the guests who joined us in 2022. Um, you know, best of luck in the new year. You will see some repeat guests um, who will be coming to join us. Um, maybe we could give a quick shout to uh, Caroline Goggin, who will be joining us as a season three guest. Um, and we're we're really excited for that show as she'll be announcing some pretty cool goals that she's set set up for herself in in the new year. So, absolutely. With that, uh, yeah. With that, let's let's sign off here, David. Yes. Cheers, everyone. Be safe. Um and happy and healthy new year.